Hi everyone, it's 8.35 on Saturday evening and it's the 31st of November. And in this video, I've got a bunch of computers and laptops to show you that I uh, picked up this afternoon locally. Um, found them on Facebook Marketplace. And it was actually from a local business. They call themselves iTrade. And it's the first time I'd actually been in the place since they've opened. I've never been in there. I've known about them, but never... It's never crossed my mind to actually go and have a look, but they've got all sorts in there. And it's not just, you know, computers and TVs and consoles and things like that. They've got other household goods in there as well. They had some washing machines, tumble dryers, or clothes dryers. Uh, I think I had a couple of fridges there, under cabinet fridges, all sorts. So I was actually pleasantly surprised. Anyway. This was just basically a lot of stuff that they were clearing out and they just dug it up on Facebook, £25 the lot. So um, I thought we'll take a look. Um, we've got a big box of laptops. I have no idea what's actually in there. I've literally only looked at about four. <laughs> and there must be close to a dozen in there. All shapes, sizes and ages and in various different conditions. Four PCs, three Xbox 360s, and a radio CD cassette player that apparently does work. So, there it all is. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, this one I like just for the case. So I think this was worth me picking up at least for the case. And I was talking to my brother last night. <clears throat> And I said, you know, even if I can't, you know, get a lot of this to work or it's just complete garbage or whatever, I've got a nice case. There's going to be a few spares and whatnot. So I think for £25 it's worth it. I've got a feeling I'm not going to get any RAM, especially from these two. Um, this is an HP Pavilion. <clears throat> Intel Inside Core i3. I'm not sure what this one is actually running. This is... Um, an aftermarket case, it's a Cooler Master case. And I think this is like someone's custom build. But it has got, well the motherboard has got support for um, USB 3 at the front, as well as USB 3 on the board. Um, and it actually doesn't look that many years old, so I'm going to guess DDR3 RAM in it. It's an ASRock motherboard, so in a little while, off camera, I will google the motherboard and just see what it is this one's got front usb 3 as well and this one is just an old packard bell windows xp we've got another hewlett packard here as well with a windows vista coa on it and we've got a low profile video card in there uh, and we do have some ram in this as well it's not seated correctly though so one stick or do we have two sticks? I can't I can't see. I think it is only one stick. But you see again, if this is completely dead, I'm really short on SATA type ROM drives, optical drives, so um <clears throat> that would be a bonus either way. Maybe the video card works, maybe it's just the motherboard that's shot, I don't know. Uh, yeah, right, what are you going to see if I can get that memory stick out of there? I wanna, I'm curious now, I want to know what it is, so how do we... I'm pretty certain it's a you know, toolless application here. Right. Well, as the clips are not holding the RAM in place, I think someone's tried to take the RAM out and then couldn't be bothered. <laughs> ah! Do I have to unclip the front first? There's another clip down there that I can't let it get to. I don't want to use brute force just to break it. <clears throat> so... I 
should be able to adjust. There, now maybe. I'm still locked in this end. Some sort of expansion bay in here. I've had a case like this before, very similar actually. Yeah, it does seem to be locked in on this side. Only two SAR connectors. Oh, I do believe we have a hard drive in here as well. What does, do? what does that release? Does that release this? Nope. Oh, I'll fiddle with this later. I can't be bothered with it now. Just stand it down here. But there is a, it looks like an IDE hard drive, oddly, because I can see a Molex connector mark. SATA power connector. Well, there's the radio. <clears throat> Brand is currently unknown. Uh, NACO. <laughs> I've never heard of NACO or NICO. I don't know. NACO probably. Alright. I'll give you a little gander inside the Cooler Master as well. See it's got quite a nice looking motherboard in there. With um, it's probably about the same age as mine actually, so I'm going to guess that's going to be an i3 hiding under that heatsink. Any bets? It's got built in the HDMI. We have HDMI, VGA, um, DVI, four USB 2.0s. We actually have. Um, PS2 sockets, both of them on this one for mouse and keyboard. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of hoping this one works, but I have found that when I get job lots like this, that the ones I want to work don't work. <laughs> so I tend to not get my hopes up now. Um, the cover isn't off of this one but I will remove it, we might as well have a look. Now I don't know why HP had to be different because instead of this side cover coming off to get into it, you take the left side off. So again this has got SAR disk drive in it if I wanted a spare, no RAM, no hard drive in this one, just an OEM power supply. Yeah, I shouldn't think that motherboard is anything that special as this is just an OEM computer. If I could get it to work, great. I might get it to work and sell it on or something, I don't know. Open to suggestions. Throw it out the window, maybe. This one has no power supply. That's why I haven't looked at this one yet, because there's still actually a screw. I do have the side panels for them, other computers. I just haven't brought them up from downstairs yet. Because I'm lazy. Mind you, bringing this box of laptops up was bloody heavy. Oh, we have a full house in this one. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but we've got a hard drive. That is a Seagate Barracuda, 120 gigs. We have RAM, we have whatever this is, dial-up dial motor. Which is actually quite weird, because I can't... It's not plugged into the socket there. Well, I'm going to guess we've got 512 megabytes of RAM split between two, 256 sticks. Ooh. According to that, that's a gigabyte. Ooh. So is this a gig? That's 256. Got a gig and a quarter of RAM then. I'm going to put this back in, in the same sockets they came from. Uh, and my next video, after this one probably, will be seeing what works and what doesn't work. So that's going to be a long video as well if I don't decide to you know, break that down into two parts. 
But uh, I have to say, that's unplugged for some reason. Oh yes, yeah, someone's had the maybe the power supply was what broke on this, and the customer said, "No, nah, I don't want to fix it. It's not worth it." You know, that happens, and then shops like that end up with them sitting around and they just get rid of them because you know, an old XP rig like this is just, it's not ow, dropped on the floor. It's not worth anything. Right, these. Out of three Xbox 360. Well, it started off as two. <laughs> the advert said two, but um, when I was talking to him last night on uh, Facebook, he said he'd found a third one up. <laughs> so he threw that in as well. One of these has got the hard drive, this one. Now, I've never owned an Xbox in my life. <laughs> now I own three at the same time. Um, like I said, do not know the condition of these. That one and that one have the hard drives missing, but we've got one here to test them with. And I'm sure they would turn on anyway without the hard drive, wouldn't they? Um, but my brother, he's got um, all the necessary cables to, for an Xbox 360, because he has one. So I'm taking these down to Mum's tomorrow, and we'll just see what they do, if anything. Now, the one I would like to work, to put into my own little collection, is this one. I can guarantee that one doesn't work. That is how my luck goes with these things. The ones, the, you know, the machines I want to work never do. Although, man, I wasn't going to say I'm going to have to get rid of that big smiley face sticker, but nah, I'm going to leave it on there. But I don't have any, I don't have an Xbox 360 power supply or, you know, K. Ooh. All I would have needed is the power supply because I've got HDMI cables and a TV that I can plug them into. I've got two TVs I can plug them into actually. So, I need a bigger kitchen. I'm running out of space. Or should I just stop hoarding crap? <laughs> right, so this one's got Tom Clancy's End War sticker on the front. Or, is that a sticker or is that a custom panel? Or what is it? Custom panel maybe because... The button, the power button's even covered in it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind actually getting one of these to work for myself. Like I said, I've never owned... I don't think I've actually owned many other consoles, not modern ones, other than a PlayStation, to be honest. It's not that I've got anything against other consoles. I've just... I don't know. I've just never owned one. Um, apart from the older consoles I've got, like the Atari 2600 and the Mega Drive and whatnot. And I had a Master System, which I regret selling. Right. The way up, there's a couple of um, LCD panels in here as well. So, I can see... One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine... Ten... Eleven, twelve... 13, 40, well, I did estimate a dozen, so I wasn't far off. Um, some of them are probably just pit bits, not pits. So, first out of the box, we have a Toshiba. Toshiba Equium A200-1VO. No RAM, no hard drive. I didn't expect there to be on this one. There's no SATA hard drive. It's probably got DDR2 RAM on it. A place like that would have pulled those and kept the spares. There's no screen or bezel, but that shouldn't stop me powering this up and finding out if it is actually going to work. Windows Vista sticker on it. Don't know if it'd actually be worth me doing anything with it, but yeah. Would you believe me if I just said I've heard the downstairs toilet seat just drop? <laughs> That's why I paused, because I couldn't believe I actually heard it. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, it's an Ergo. I'm sure I've already got one of these in the collection. Right, so this is probably what, Windows XP? Yep, yeah, professional. All the bottom panels are intact, so this could actually be a, um, a working laptop. Oh, it's in very, very clean condition. I like that. 
I like the blue as well. Um, the guy did say many of these probably work. He's something like this. He's probably taken in, you know, as a trade-in with a new laptop and uh, never bothered trying it. I don't know why they bother taking them in as a trade-in, to be honest. Right, what we got here? We have got an AC. You never know. I might be able to use some of these to repair one or two of those other laptops for my friend's dad. You never know, one of these panels might actually fit one of those that's got the broken screen. So, this looks intact. We don't have anything underneath. We have RAM! Ooh. I know I always sound surprised, but to be honest, when I get things like this, I just, I don't expect it. This looks like DDR3. 8500. Pretty certain it's not DDR2 because the notch for DDR2 is further along, isn't it? Pretty certain that's DDR3. That'd be a nice one if it worked, but it got a bit damp because um, I bought them home, put them down in the shed because um, I was helping mum do some shopping because of her back. And uh, I then left them outside for a little while while I had dinner and whatnot, and then dragged them up so they got a little bit damp. So I'll leave them to dry overnight and uh, make that 13 and a half laptops because so far I've just got this which is just the keyboard. <laughs> Silvercrest, that's a little thing. Yeah, that is just like a keyboard adapter for a tablet. Um, which actually looks like it's been broken, possibly. Like I said, I've not actually looked through these, so I have absolutely no idea what's in here. This one out. What we got here? We've got another racer. I didn't actually read out what the model was with this one, did I? It's got signal up, whatever that is, written on it. Have we got the model number on this one? Don't know. <laughs> so we've got another ace. So what we got on this? Ooh, no. I'm not expecting to find anything in it because all the base screws are missing. Um, so it's a screen. <laughs> it says Intel Pentium inside. We've got a key missing as well. Yeah, I'm gonna guess this one do not work. Let's just get these panels out of the way. Make sure they're not broken. That one isn't, but I've got a feeling that's too big for the laptop I need a panel for. Actually, I'm pretty certain that one. Oh, this one might though. That one might. Well, it might be a bit too old looking at that. I don't know. I uh, can't see no cracks in them, so that's good. Right. Oh boy here, what we got? Oh, oh, there's two of these in here. Here's one. DDR2 with this one. Oh! Oh, that's good. All the, um, some covers are in here. That's the battery. Everybody charging it? That cover, is this the cover for it? Windows Vista, no. Nope. Windows Vista Home Basic. They've got a whole bunch of covers. So none of those. We got this one here. Yeah, this is exactly the same. Two Dells, exactly the same. It's an Inspiro. Now, it would be really nice if I could actually get one of these to work. Microsoft Windows XP. Ah, this is the Inspire on 6000. So, is this a 6000 as well? Yep. Media Direct button. 
seems a bit broke. Power button seems a bit broken. <laughs> Does it take the usual Dell? Yeah. It's alright, I've got adapters for that. Eee, what we got here then? Can't actually see what COA that is. It's an HP 3D drive guard. <laughs> Uh, product Compact 6735A, I believe. With an HP service tag on it. No RAM, didn't think there would be. Uh, the screws are loose on the hard drive cover, so there isn't going to be one in there either. It's got Windows Vista sticker on it. Quite a nice looking laptop. Right, so we've got another HP. Someone like their HPs. Here's another one. <laughs> well, right off the bat, there's no hard drive, no RAM. Didn't expect there to be. I never do. I've got to stop saying that because I say that every time. Machine's looking complete. Maybe just because of the age of these, you know. They're just not worth a place like that fixing up and selling. Who knows? Ooh, there's an interesting little one there. Whee! Look at this brick! This is what I'm going to call it. There's no RAM. I guarantee there ain't no hard drive either. Oddly enough, it takes a sale to hard drive. So this has got to be, looking at that COA, rather faded COA, that's got to be a Windows XP. Windows Vista. Ooh. Intel Pentium dual core inside. Toshiba. I do like Toshiba myself. Oh dear, this one might be parts because it's a bit battered. <laughs> it's got a SATA sticker on it. A SATA sticker, SATA connector for a hard drive as well. HP, again, Vista dual core. <clears throat> I've got a funny feeling that was traded in like that and instead of fix it, They've just ripped out the hard drive and the RAM and then just put it in the parts pile. <laughs> to sell to a mug like... Oh, I love the hinge repair. <laughs> yeah. Awesome hinge repair. And it looks like they did the same that side once and it's broken again. But really, with new lid plastics, that would be a, a nice laptop if I can get it to work. Okay. Got an HP here with Hello Kitty all over it. Uh, Windows XP sticker on the bottom. Yeah, Windows XP. It's the HP Compaq NC4200. Why? But I like tiny little laptops like this. Which is just as well because we've got another one here with a big Linux sticker stuck on it. Windows 7 starter. I bet I wouldn't be surprised if this one worked, but I bet they got rid of it because it's only got a 32 bit operating system and can only support 32 bit. I'm guaranteeing that would be the reason. But again, I do like dinky little laptops like that. Right. We have one more, which is yet another Dell, and yet again has nothing there. <laughs> I expected that. I've got plenty of hard drives and things just to see if they work. Windows Vista, designed for Windows XP, obviously upgradable to Windows uh, Vista. Don't know if any of these panels actually go to anything here. Oh, hello. Oh, 
26 minutes, 225. Compact disc. It's like a mini disc thing. Is that audio disc or something? I don't know. Not a clue. It looks like we've just got some random bollocks in the bottom here as well. Another clue. Ooh. I've got a box that I don't need. <laughs> Does this one take the... Um, no, this Dell actually does not take the usual Dell adapter. That takes more looks like just an ordinary jack in there. Usually Dell have their you know their own specific connectors, but that one is different. What is it? I didn't look at the model number, did I? It's a Dell what? Inspire on thirteen hundred. Ah. Screen catch is broken. See, I really wouldn't be surprised if it's just little things like that that the shop deemed just not worth fixing and they just ended up in a, in a pile like that. I'm actually itching to um, power them up now and see what does work and doesn't work. <laughs> um, I'll hold off on that, I think, for now. So, yeah. That is my little haul. Thirteen and a half laptops, technically. One's in the bin, or will be. I'm happy anyway. I think it was definitely worth it for that little Cooler Master case. Yeah. It was worth it just for that, I think. I'm not only a little case, but I don't know why. I just like dinky little laptops and dinky little computers. I like to see them, um, especially the PCs, because I like to see how far I can actually uh, go with upgrades. So usually not very far, but it's still fun nonetheless to me, anyway. So, I'm going to leave the video there. Otherwise, I'm just going to ramble about utter random shit. So... Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you liked the video, and I will uh, talk to you all again soon. Bye!